All right, in this video, I have two pickups that I got from Yeezy Day, which actually happened to be my birthday, which was pretty fun. Uh, that actually hit a couple pairs this year. The last couple Yeezy Days, I did not get anything uh, that released. This time, I actually hit two things, and one of them I was actually really excited to get because I've been trying to get a pair since the very first pair that ended up coming out. So if you didn't know, Yeezy Day was August 2nd in the US and they had a bunch of different Yeezys that ended up releasing uh, through the day from 6 a.m. onwards and it was kind of a, a fun but also chaotic mess of like releases happening uh, every so often and then they would drop Quick Strike on Yeezy Supply and then they would also drop in the uh, Adidas Confirmed app. And then they were some of them that you had exclusive access to in the confirmed app, while other ones you could put in for a raffle and try to get at the confirmed app. It was honestly kind of confusing, but I kind of liked the chaos. It was fun to be able to just check into the app, get a push notification here and there of, of like you have an entry and you can actually buy the shoe, which is actually why I got one of the shoes is because I actually had direct access. As far as I know, not everybody had direct access to it. You guys can leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know when I show you them. The other pair I put in for a raffle, and this is the very first pair of Adidas that I hit on a raffle in 2022 so far. I mean, if I think back to everything that released, this I believe is my very first pair that I hit on a raffle, which is nuts. Like I've tried a whole bunch. I just failed so much. And I just thought my account was like shadow banned or something like that because I just was not hitting anything. Previous to this year, I was pretty much in the money in every release that came out. Like I could score off of Yeezy Supply in the past and I could score off of Adidas when they had the queue. Uh, but then they changed everything up and Yeezy Supply is completely bought and impossible to get off of as far as I know. And then uh, Adidas now does everything off of Raffle Confirmed app instead of uh, doing the, the website drop. But anyway, this is a pair that I got and this is the second pair of these I got uh, because the first one I had the originals when they dropped. But I wanted this one back because of some potential opportunities, I guess, for this colorway. So... <laughs> Box fart. Here we have the Yeezy 500s and this is the blush colorway. Now, for those that didn't know, it's called the Yeezy 500, not the Yeezy Boost 500, unlike the Yeezy Boost 350s or the Yeezy Boost 700s, because these 500s don't have, well, you guessed it, Boost in the midsole. This actually has Adiprene Plus, as you could see, the Adiprene and the Plus logo on the midsole, which is actually pretty soft and uh, nice on feet. It's not anything as soft as like Boost or anything, but, uh, but it is pretty like nice and bouncy. It kind of reminds you of like Adidas Bounce, to be honest, like the older technology that's no more. And this is a model that people will definitely like love and hate. This is the Yeezy 500. They've had a bazillion different colorways of these, as well as the 350s, in all very similar kind of vibes uh, with the different colorways. Now, the first handful of colorways of the 500s, people, it was like pretty sought after. Some of them had quite a bit of resale value, but then they retroed some of the original ones over and over again, and you know, the, the rest is history. Now, it, they're a little bit more obtainable and not overly uh, ridiculous to get. The release date or the production date, should I say, on these were 1121. So this was from a previous retro, I think I'm imagining, because these ones were created uh, last year and not for a specific like release on Yeezy Day. It seems like Yeezy Day was just a bunch of restocks or leftover stock that they had sitting in the warehouse or whatever else that didn't actually go through, which kind of makes sense if you think about it, because when you have a limited supply sneaker like a pair of Yeezys that drop on the confirmed app, and you get selected to get your pair, there's gonna be a handful of those items that probably end up coming back. And then what are they gonna do? There's no section on Adidas website that has uh, Yeezys for sale on a regular basis, which is kind of an interesting point to call out because you think about it, like right now, Jordan retros are sitting, like for example, the Cardinal 7s uh, released and we're sitting, there's a couple other retros that release that are sitting on uh, Nike's website now. And how many times, leave a comment or a like on the video, how many times does it happen to you when you go to Nike sneakers, you put it in for a raffle, a raffle for a pair of sneakers that you really wanted that maybe nobody else even wants. They serve you up your L on a platter and then all of a sudden uh, you go back in 30 minutes later and you can just buy the shoes on Nike.com because they actually have them in your size. I've had that happen so many times for shoes that I just, that are not hyped, it's ridiculous. I don't understand the raffle system. It seems a little bit rigged if there's not enough buyers for something. And then why would they serve me my L, man? It's just an extra little little slap in the face right there. Any which way, uh, confirmed not doing that. And it's something, again, to note because uh, Adidas just doesn't release like the, the Yeezys or whatever to the public uh, in, in a different manner. They save them up for this like Yeezy day, which I don't know why Kanye is so up in arms about. Like, to be honest, because if you guys didn't hear, Kanye was like really upset 
that um, Adidas is doing Yeezy Day. He said he didn't approve of Yeezy Day. He didn't approve uh, the, the products that were being dropped. Now, some of them are legitimate retros that they're bringing back, such as the Turtle Doves. I'll have a different video on the Turtle Doves. I, I'm borrowing a pair from a friend to do. That's why I'm not including them in my haul because I actually didn't get the shoes. These are just the ones that I got. But the Turtle Doves were produced actually for this day from what it looks like. There's other shoes that were just restocked. But ultimately, I think it's a smart way of like consolidating like and bringing hype around like Yeezys on a specific day. In my opinion, if Kanye is not behind that, I, I mean, he, he needs to be. It's a way for him to create and like maintain that Yeezy luster that he wants to have out there anyway, where it's like the hype and limited demand stuff. Anyway, I got the blush colorway because this is the one that I actually ended up getting a push notification saying that I had access to it. I went out there, bought them, called it a day, and I was happy that I was able to get them. Uh, the thing is, this is a, a really versatile colorway. So obviously it's just all like a bone colorway or, and I think they have a bone colorway too. But this is like a, a light cream or a bone or a blush colorway, I guess, of the Yeezy uh, 500s. But it's also one that you can dip dye and change into different colors. And if you guys saw my sneaker wall until recently, I just moved these over to the side wall. But I actually dip dyed these uh, back in the day and they came out meh, okay. Like the thing is, is that when you have a pair to dip dye, you don't know how necessarily the dye is gonna be applied to the material that you're using and you have to use a synthetic dye and it kind of has a, a, a weird look around the rubber material of the shoe. So like this would be a pair that I would like maybe consider taping that off or just doing something a little bit different as I'm doing the dip dye and maybe making one that has more of a uniform color to like the mesh and stuff because uh, obviously the mesh did not really maintain the color but parts of the suede did. The other thing you can do is use a synthetic dye, which I did not do. I used just a regular dye, which is why the non-synthetic materials like the suede actually took to the, the purple. But I really kind of want to do like um, maybe just tape off this midsole section so it doesn't have like the discolored look and then kind of do like an ombre dip. So it's like uh, three different colors through it. I think it would look pretty rad. And I know at least this works on the upper. So maybe I will end up doing that. If you guys have a suggestion for which three colors, Maybe drop a comment. I'm guessing like probably yellow, orange, red sort of thing, like a sunset sort of. And while I'm talking about it, I tried to do that ombre effect on this pair of sneakers. This is the 40 Future Crafts and it came out okay, but honestly, I wasn't again familiar with the materials. Anytime you're doing a first time dip, it's really hard to know uh, what materials you're working with and if it actually is synthetic or not and will it actually take the color. So I know from trying this one now, uh, but I didn't know on this one, but I'd love maybe the same colors that I did here on here. I don't know, you guys let me know in the comment section. But anyway, those are two of my somewhat failed attempts, but at the end of the day, it's not really a failure. It's just a learning experiment, a very costly one at that. And I kind of like both of them still. It's just uh, something a little bit different, but I did get those. But then the big one, at least for me, and it's kind of big, but it's also weird. And I, you know, I don't know, I don't know. Any which way, I got the size that I wanted even, which is a size 10, because the last time I, I got a pair of these, I got a nine and they were a little bit too snug, I believe. But uh, this is the uh, the Foam Runners and I got the black colorway, which I thought I would actually really like. And then I put them on and I was like, you know what, they look kind of weird. They look kind of weird on feet. So I'm like, uh, I mean, they've always looked kind of weird on feet. Look at the, the shape of them. You guys remember the ones I did, the Knit Runners? I did a review of those. If you guys missed that review, you guys should go check that out. But the Foam Runners, I think these look pretty cool. And it's really just like one of those shoes that I wanted to get because I had the very first colorway that came out and they were selling for fours, I think maybe $400 or something like that, maybe even fives. I sold them then because the price was so incredibly high. I was like, there's no way they're gonna maintain that high of a price point. They're gonna release a bunch of them. And of course, they waited a long time. They slowly released them here and there. Now they're releasing a bunch of them, but it took over a year, it seems like to really ramp up. Uh, anyway, the pr production date's on here, 522, so they knocked these out pretty recently. So anyway, I hit on the foam runners, they're 90 bucks, happy to get them at retail and then be able to actually have a pair to wear and compare because I have lots of different comfort videos and slides and Crocs and different things and like those are gonna be kind of a fun one. So I'll have more of that in the future, but these are the two pickups that I got from Yeezy Day. Happy that I got them, honestly. It was nice to be able to hit a couple pairs and one that I could do a future custom on or just leave uh, the way it is and it looks great. And then the other one that I can just have and have a wearable pair uh, around the house. Although these things are still really weird, man. Are you guys on that foam runner wave or not yet? I feel like that easy slide wave is like here to stay. At first it was like everybody hated them and now it's like people really like them. Uh, for the foam runners, I feel like it's still kind of like an edgy, weird pair. If I had to choose between the Yeezy slides and foam runners to wear, like in general, like probably the, the slides look better in my opinion, but that's just my initial thoughts. Still happy to get a pair though and happy to wear them and just see, can I vibe with these or not? 
and wear these out and about. I don't know if I'll wear these in public or not yet. It might feel a little bit weird, especially like around all the other parents and stuff at the park. I'd feel a little insecure maybe in those things, but that's a, that's a haul. I only got two pairs. Did you guys get anything from Yeezy Day on the restocks, uh, on the releases, turtle doves or anything else? Drop a comment and let me know what you guys got or what you were after, what you took your L on. Appreciate you all for stopping by and watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And then subscribe to the channel if you guys do like the content. Again, as I kind of tease, I will have some future videos. And if I do the ombre on these, I will do a tutorial on that if you guys are interested in seeing it. But have a good one, and hopefully we'll see you back for some more content soon. All right, peace, guys.